Uh, let me ask you this. Do you feel a little bit calmer today? Do you feel like there were fewer angry voices out there? Well, maybe that's because Facebook, along with Instagram and WhatsApp, were all down for most of the day. And you know what that did? That silenced the feedback loop. That seems to be making a lot of Americans angrier and angrier. People couldn't yell at each other online. So people were, at least, or maybe looking for other places to do it. But I want you to listen to this. This is Facebook whistleblower Frances Haugen. She is claiming that anger is good for Facebook's business. And she alleges the scale of the problem is much worse than the company is letting on or that the public even understands. She's on 60 Minutes, and here's what she said. Its own research is showing that content that is hateful, that is divisive, that is polarizing, it's easier to inspire people to anger than it is to other emotions. Facebook has realized that if they change the algorithm to be safer, people will spend less time on the site, they'll click on less ads, they'll make less money. Okay, so, I mean, look, that's what she's saying. Think, but think about what she's saying, all right? She's a former Facebook employee, and she's alleging the company is willing to let angry rhetoric spread as long as it's good for their bottom line. Now, that whistleblower is going to appear before a Senate subcommittee. It's going to happen tomorrow. But before that happens, CNN has obtained prepared testimony, her prepared testimony, saying that she knows Facebook could, her word, destroy her. And comparing all of this to Big Tobacco, alleging that they know it's toxic, but they do it anyway. A quote here. When we realized tobacco companies were hiding the harms it caused, the government took action. When we figured out cars were safer with seatbelts, the government took action. And today the government is taking action against companies that hid evidence of opioids. I implore you to do the same here. Well, Facebook is responding, and a spokesperson is telling CNN, another quote, every day our teams have to balance protecting the ability of billions of people to express themselves openly with the need to keep our platform a safe and positive place. We continue to make significant improvements to tackle the spread of misinformation and harmful content. To suggest we encourage bad content and do nothing is just not true, end quote from Facebook, okay? So, look, nobody is suggesting that Everything you see on Facebook is harmful. Harmful. No one is suggesting that. But it's also no secret that the platform has been used to spread hate and misinformation, hate and, mis and misinformation that just serve to pit us against each other. The, look, the, you see it everywhere. The anger is everywhere, and it's toxic. Anger on planes, anger over vaccines, anger over masks. It seems like America is angrier than ever. Two protesters flipping over a testing table at a tent of a mobile COVID testing site in New York City today. And obviously cameras everywhere. It's all caught on tape usually. Who would have thought that school board meetings all across the country would completely erupt over mask mandates? School boards. Who would have thought that parents would be furious over attempts to protect their own children from a deadly pandemic? Calm down. Yes. Calm down. We, we know who we you know are. Who you are. We, know we know who you are. You can leave freely, but we will find you, and we know who you are. You, 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 and we know you will you never are. be allowed in we public again. And I'm going to come for everybody that comes at my kid with this stupid, ridiculous mandate. We are the storm, and we are here already. And when this whole thing crumbles to the ground, we will be here to hold you accountable for your crimes against humanity. Okay, right, right here, look, right here. So as you can see, fists are now flying, all of this on live television. Fists are flying. You are allowing child abuse. 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 You, child abuse. you with your snotty little face, you're allowing it as well. You treat p the parents of these children as domestic terrorists, using our men in blue against us. Your power-hungry dictatorship has gotten out of control. This is no longer about our safety. It is about control. No one knows history. No one remembers history. I am calling on churches, active-duty military, veterans, freedom-loving Texans, 
We're calling you guys everywhere. We need your help. 1930s Germany has many similarities here. They censored everybody. They censured everybody. And all the people went with the government. We know in this room who would have turned into Anne Frank. We know that now. Thanks for showing your colors. And one last time to quote uh, the famous politician, Adolf Hitler. When diplomacy ends, war begins. Okay, look, I've said it before. These mask wars over what people like to call their freedom, what kind of freedom is that? We're for freedom, baby. We are for freedom all the way, and that's what we love. What kind of freedom is that? The, the freedom for kids to get sick? The freedom for them to be quarantined? That's not freedom. And then there's the anger over critical, critical race theory, stoked by peddlers of lies using it as a political weapon, terrifying parents with the provably false lie that critical race theory, which isn't even taught to children, is about hating white people. It's not. White children are being told untruthfully that all the problems in this country were their fault. The morality and values of our founders are slipping from our fingers. But we will not let this happen. If you believe in Christ, if you believe in the Constitution, and if you believe in America, do not let this country fall. Critical race theory, in fact, pits black people against white people and has an end game goal of restructuring, restructuring America to an authoritarian regime. You're teaching children to hate others because of their skin color and you're forcing them to lie about other kids' gender. I am disgusted by your bigotry and your depravity. Shame on you! 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 <sighs> um, okay, I just, I've said this a million times, but critical race theory is not being taught in grade schools. It's not about hating white people. It's about studying the fact, that's right, the fact that systemic racism is part of American society and challenging the beliefs that allow it to continue to flourish. Instead, the peddlers of lies are using it to stoke anger. And don't kid yourself, the simmering rage is everywhere, everywhere. I, look, the entire two hours that I'm on the air tonight, I could give you example after example after example, but here's one, another I should say. Dr. Fauci has gotten death threats for trying to save Americans from a killer virus. Anti-Semitism and anti-Asian hate flourishing. In surveillance video released by the NYPD, you see the vicious attack unfold. A woman whom authorities have identified as a 65-year-old Asian American is pushed to the ground, her attacker kicking her in the head again and again. Police say the man allegedly yelled expletives at her, saying, you don't belong here. Jesus, it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. And it shouldn't happen. 